Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. Good morning. Our opening hymn is number 201, Immaculate Mary. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in heaven with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. In heaven the blessed your glory proclaim, on earth we your children Invoke your fair name. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave Maria. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus be with you. As we gather this morning to celebrate the feast of the apparitions of the Blessed Virgin Mary to Bernadette Subaru, we pause and ask Mary to intercede with her son Jesus in our behalf, asking him for pardon and forgiveness for our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to live among us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you show us the way to the Father in heaven. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness, that we who keep the memorial of the Immaculate Mother of God may, with the help of her intercession, rise up from our iniquities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of Genesis. Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. The Lord God formed out of the ground various wild animals and various birds of the air. And he brought them to the man to see what he would call them. Whatever the man called each of them, would be its name. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of the air, and all the wild animals, but none proved to be the suitable partner for the man. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man, and while he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. Lord God then built up into a woman the rib that he had taken from the man. 
When he brought her to the man, the man said, This one at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman. For out of her man, this one has been taken. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two of them become one flesh. The man and his wife were both naked, yet they felt no shame. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed Blessed are are those who who fear fear the Lord. Lord. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home. Your children like olive plants around your table. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed Blessed are are those who who fear the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips to me, worthily and fitly proclaim his holy gospel. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a wedding at Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone water jars there for Jewish ceremonial washings, each holding 20 to 30 gallons. And Jesus told them, Fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, Draw some out now and take it to the head waiter. So they took it. And when the head waiter tasted the water that had become wine, without knowing where it came from, although they who had drawn the water knew, the head waiter called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves the good wine first, and then when the people have drunk freely, an inferior one. But you have the good wine until now. Jesus did this in the beginning of his signs at Cana in Galilee, and so revealed his glory. And his disciples began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we celebrate the feast of the Our Lady of Lourdes on February 11, 1858. A little girl by the name of our Bernadette Subaru was with a couple of her companions going out and uh, gathering wood for the fireplace along the river grave. And suddenly uh, Bernadette saw a woman in the trees. And um, 
the lady didn't say anything to her, and uh, Bernadette was kind of scared. She reached for her, in her pocket for her rosary and began to pray the rosary. And uh, then the lady disappeared. And um, a couple of days later, Mary again appeared to Bernadette, told her to go tell the priest to build a church there. And then uh, the lady told uh, Bernadette to come um, the next 15 days or whatever. So between February uh, 11th and July or June uh, 16th, I think Mary appeared 18 times to Bernadette. And uh, finally, uh, at the request of the bishop, uh, bishops aren't going to go out and build a church whenever a little girl comes in and said, Mary said, you should build one here. But he asked uh, Bernadette to ask the lady who she was, and Mary identified herself as the Immaculate Conception. Um, in our office today that the priests pray, um, we have an account of uh, what uh, Bernadette told us about the apparitions. He said, I'd gone up one day with two other girls to the bank of the river grave when suddenly I heard a kind of rustling sound. I turned my head toward the field by the side of the river, but the trees seemed quiet still and still and the noise was evidently not from them. Then I looked up and caught sight of the cave where I saw a woman wearing a lovely white dress with a white belt. At the top of each of her feet was a pale yellow rose, the same color as her rosary beads. At this, I rubbed my eyes, thinking that I was seeing things, and I put my hands up uh, into the fold of my dress where I, my rosary was. I wanted to make the sign of the cross, but I, for the life of me, I couldn't understand why I couldn't make the sign of the cross. My hands were just down at my side. And then the lady made the sign of the cross over herself, and at the second attempt, I managed to do the same, though my hands were trembling. Then I began to say the rosary, while the lady let the bees slip through her fingers without moving her lips. Then I stopped saying the Hail Mary, and she vanished. I asked my companions if they had noticed anything, but they said no. Of course, they wanted to know what I was doing, and I told them that I had seen a lady wearing a beautiful white dress, that I didn't know who she was. I told them not to say anything about it, and they said I was silly to have anything to do with it. I said they were wrong. And I came back on Sunday, feeling myself drawn to the place. The third time I went, to the, the, I went the lady uh, spoke to me and asked me to come for the uh, 15 days. I said I would, and then she said she wanted me to tell the priest to build a chapel there. She also told me to drink from the stream. I went to the grave, the only stream I could see. Then she made me realize that she was not speaking of the grave, but she indicated a little, a little trickle of water close by. When I got to it, I could only find a few drops because it was mostly muddy. I cupped my hand to catch the liquid within, without success, and then I started to scrape in the ground. I managed to find a few drops of, wa of water, uh, but only at the fourth or fifth attempt was there sufficient uh, for me to take a drink. The lady then vanished, and I went back home. I went back each day for 15 days, and each time, except one Monday and Friday, the lady appeared to me to look for a stream and wash it out and see that the priest built a chapel there. I must also pray, and she said that we should pray for the conversion of sinners. I asked her many times what she meant by that, but she only smiled. Finally, with outstretched arms and eyes looking up to heaven, she told me that she was the Immaculate Conception. During the 15 days that she told me, she told me three secrets, but I was not to speak to anyone about them, and so far I have not. So that's an account of Bernadette's uh, own uh, description of what happened. Uh, eventually, uh, the bishop believed Mary, or uh, Bernadette, when she said that Mary said she was the Immaculate Conception. What we Catholics believe in the Immaculate Conception is not the birth of Jesus, 
that too was an immaculate conception in many ways. But no, we're talking about Mary's own conception in her mother's womb, that God foresaw that she would be the mother of our Savior. And so from the very moment of her conception in her mother's womb, God preserved her from the stain of original sin so that she would be a perfect vessel and a perfect mother for the Son of God become man. Our Protestant brothers and sisters do not share that belief with us, um, but I think the evidence is on our side. Mary appeared to Bernadette in 1858, 18 times, and revealed herself as the Immaculate Conception. Well, a lot of people say, well, you know, that's imagination or whatever. But the fact that miracles continue to happen at Lourdes, um, I have a list of something like um, 98 miracles, and they have to be real miracles too. If you have a migraine headache and you go there and it's cured, doctors wouldn't consider that a miracle. But one of the miracles that I remember is uh, a man was building a road, a construction road. He was a construction worker, and a huge rock came rolling down the, the hillside and crushed his leg. And the doctors were going to amputate, and he insisted that they take him to Lourdes first. And they took him to Lourdes, and they put him in the, the pool there, which is, is uh, fed by the stream that Mary told Sir Bernadette to, to gouge out of the ground. And um, he was cured. He came out walking and had no ill effects from the, the rock crushing his leg. Another a person had bone cancer. The bones were all hollowed out with the cancer. They had x-rays of that and so on. That person was put in the pool and she came out totally cured. So those are the miracles that count at Lourdes uh, where you have scientific evidence to prove it and so on. Now, if Mary had not been immaculately conceived, God certainly would not allow miracles to take place there because if he did so, he would be giving credibility to a lie. But if Mary was immaculately conceived and these miracles happen and continue to happen and they can be documented, then obviously it's a sign from God that Mary truly was immaculately conceived and our, our belief in that is right. Uh, the important lesson of uh, Lourdes is that uh, Mary told Sir, uh, Bernadette Subary and all of us to pray for the conversion of sinners. Um, and that's something we all need to do all the time. And to realize that more conversions take place through prayer than any other means. So always keep that in mind. Um, when somebody is strayed from the church, pray for them and be patient. Encourage them and trust that eventually your prayers will be heard. And today we thank God for uh, Mary, who gave birth to Jesus, our Savior. And we ask Mary to continue to intercede with her son, Jesus, in our behalf, so that we too can be free of sin and be God's holy and faithful people. O God, our Heavenly Father, you sent your Son Jesus, born of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to be our Savior. Help us always to listen to him and to follow him. Grant us this and the favors we now ask in Jesus' name. Our response, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for Archbishop Lucas, and all who profess to be Catholic, that they may be in a light, reflecting the love of peace of Jesus to all whom we meet each day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our teachers, that they, God will bless and guide them and teach their faith to their pupils, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our parish families, that they always stay close to Jesus and express this in their homes, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those studying for the priesthood and religious life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick, that they may feel God's healing love and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who have died, that they may find everlasting joy in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are suffering from coronavirus and cancer and heart ailments, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
and for all of our unspoken needs and intentions, let us pause and pray to the Lord in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We bury Virginia Gunther from our parish on Monday. This morning, we bury Jane Hill. And on Saturday, we have the funeral of Ed Clokey. So we pray for these three individuals and for their families. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Larry Reimers is uh, very critically ill. We pray for him and his wife, Liz. We pray to the Lord. And we offer this Mass this morning for the living and deceased of the Bernard Jurassic family. We pray to the Lord. O oh God, our Father in heaven, please grant us these and all our needs, for which we pray to you today in Jesus' name, for he is Lord forever and ever. And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for your goodness we have the spread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me of my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O oh Lord, we, uh, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on this, the Feast of Our Lady of Lords. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of her virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the angels pray your majesty, dominions adore you, and the powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. 
For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing this sacrificial victim by his death, you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Joseph, St. Isidore, and with all your saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people your Son has gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to other passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's <clears throat> command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join me in making a spiritual communion. I, Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, humbly, spiritually, into my heart, I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion hymn is number 322. Look beyond. Look beyond the bread you eat. See your Savior and your Lord. Look beyond the cup you drink. See his love poured out his blood. Give us a sign that we might believe in you. Moses gave us manna from the sky. Look beyond the bread you eat. See your Savior and your Lord. Look beyond the cup you drink. See his love poured out as blood. I am the bread which from the heavens came. Those who eat this bread will never die. Look beyond the bread you eat. See your Savior and your Lord. Look beyond the cup you drink. See his love poured out as blood. The bread I give you will be my very flesh. My blood will truly be your drink. Look beyond the bread you eat. See your 
Savior and your Lord. Look beyond the cup you drink. See his love poured out as blood. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech you, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and grant you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go on the peace of Christ. Glorify him by your works. Thanks be to God. Our final hymn is number 200. Hail, Holy Queen. Hail, Holy Queen enthroned above. O Maria. Hail, Mother of mercy and of love, O Maria. Triumph, all ye cherubim, sing with us, ye seraphim. Heaven and earth resound the hymn, Salve, Salve. Salve Regina, our life, our sweetness here below, O Maria, our hope in sorrow and in woe, O Maria, triumph all ye cherubim, sing with us, ye seraphim, heaven and earth resound the hymn, Salve, Salve, Salve Regine. Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. 